Dean, welcome to Charlton Athletic. How pleased are you to be our new first team manager? Hugely proud moment, um, privileged, excited. Um, obviously a fantastic club with a great history, steeped in tradition. Um, I remember the, the team in the Premier League as I was growing up watching it and you know, it's, a, it's a brilliant football club. It's obviously in a position at the moment which is not where we want it to be and my job is to come in, particularly in the short term, and, and improve performances and results and, and get us away from that danger zone and looking higher up the table. But I look at the squad, I look at the, the youngsters coming through from the academy and it, 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 it's blessed with, with, with good players. Um, not everything's broken. You know, you look at the team in 18th in, in the table, it, it's not a case that everything's broken. There's clearly changes that need to be made. Um, but having had an in-depth look at the squad, I've, I've watched the team a lot this season. I've seen them live. Um, I've seen the youngsters away to Plymouth in the Papa John's and I've, I've got a decent enough understanding of the squad. So looking forward to watching the game tomorrow night against Brighton and um, and then we're rolling to Boxing Day and, and a free game week next week. Not everything is broken, as you say. We've had some very good moments this season, but overall it, it's been a frustrating one. How do you go about getting us moving up the table? First and foremost, we, we've got to give the players belief. Um, I spoke to him briefly after training today around the team at the top of the table, Plymouth, we, we beat them 5-1 earlier in the season. Um, clearly that consistency has not been there, which is why we're, where we are in the league. But the players need belief, they need to, they need to feel that the manager and the, and the staff have got confidence in them. Um, and, we, and they've got to do the basics a little bit better. Obviously there's been some individual errors which have led to goals. Um, you know, I want us to play on the front foot a little bit more, with and without the ball. I want us to be a team that takes the game to the opposition, that plays with a, a real purpose. Yes. I want us to have possession of the ball, but I want us to play with a purpose and pass forward and run forward and, and get into the, the attacking areas of the pitch. Uh, and obviously when we lose the ball, I'd like to see a little bit more energy in terms of going winning it back. So there's work to be done on the training ground, but I'm, I'm delighted to, to be back at it. It's been bubbling uh, in the background for, for a period of time and um, late last night we managed to get it sorted and I just I couldn't wait to get down here. You've been coaching for a long time now. You were number two up at Stoke City last time out. Why did you want to be a number one again? Because I loved it so much last time when I was at, at Bristol City. I'd, I'd obviously been a first team coach, a reserve manager, a, an assistant manager with Lee at, at Bristol City and then got the chance to become head coach and, and really enjoyed um, setting the environment on a daily basis for the players, the staff to come in and, and really come into a thriving environment where they, where they look at each other and they know that everybody's got each other's back. Uh, there's a real trust in there, there's a togetherness and I love building that that type of environment and, and that's one thing that we are in control of is getting the culture right around the training ground. We'll be working hard um, but as I say I want people to, to want to come in and, and want to work and, and essentially we're a, you know I'm a football fan myself, I travelled home and away as a kid all over the country and I know what it takes to get up at four or five o'clock in the morning and travel here, there and everywhere um, and we're a representation of, of our supporters and, and the, the fans need to see that on the pitch obviously there's um, there's, there's, there's uh, the fans are unhappy at the moment, I think that's fair to say, and it's our job to, to get them back coming back through the turnstiles, excited to wanting to come and see a, a Charlton Athletic team play again. You met all the club's administration staff not long ago. I mean, how, how much of a football club being successful is about not just the team on the pitch, the team and the whole club? Well, it's, it's a community, isn't it? I mean, I saw the, the, the community charter that came out last week, and you, when you look at that, you know, a thriving football club should be doing all them things, you know, engaging the supporters, the youngsters coming through. Uh, they want to, as I say, they want to relate to the players. They want to see, I want to see the players give everything on the pitch. And I think everybody would accept that, win, lose or draw. You leave everything out there on the pitch. And that's the number one priority for me is to get, get them types of performances on the pitch, um, get this team winning again. And there's no doubt that the supporters will, will get behind the team. It's one incredibly well supported football club, a fantastic stadium. As I said before, great facilities at the training ground. It's, it's all set, you know, for, for this club to push on. But we know where we are at the moment. You know, it's it's not a Premier League club anymore. It can get there in the future. But for now, it's about ac accepting where we are and, and fighting hard to make sure we get away from that danger zone. You touched on it a minute ago, but what what's your footballing philosophy? What does a Dean Holden team look like? I want to see us playing with attacking intent. I want us to get the ball forward into attacking areas, play with a real purpose. You know, so it's not having all the possession around uh, our half and, and around the halfway line. It's about getting the, the attacking players on the ball in the right areas of the pitch. Um, crosses, shots, 
making chances, putting the opposition under pressure, turning them round, runners in behind. Um, and if and when we lose it in them areas, I want to see an immediate transition on trying to regain the ball. I think the best time to win the ball back is when you've just lost it. Clearly when the opposition's a little bit uh, out of shape. So, you know, all them things pull together for a, for a good performance. It's not just about what you do with the ball, it's about what you do without it. And I want to see a real energy, a real front-footedness with and without the ball. And you also touched on it a minute ago, Brighton's come tomorrow. I believe that's going to be a watching brief for you. When, uh, how much are you looking forward to really getting to work from... Thursday onwards. Yeah, it's it's only right. I think Anthony's up, um, done the match prep this morning with the team, so you know the team's picked and and, and the, the players are ready to go. I'm really excited about being in the stadium tomorrow night, and seeing and seeing what the what the team's capable of against obviously a Premier League opponent. We expect them to be strong because of, of where they are in terms of their next game at the weekend in the Premier League. So they'll use that as a, as, a, as a, almost as a, a bit of a warm up game, I suppose, for want of a better word. So. No, I'm looking forward to seeing the players going out there and expressing themselves. It's important, that, as I said, that right at the top, that they really feel that confidence. And that will only come when we start to get some results. Very best of luck.